Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger, and I guess continuing on with a little bit of a series leading up to the big balance patch upcoming for Dragon Ball Fighters, coming with the Master Roshi patch, let's talk about balance itself, and specifically what characters need some buffs, need some love. So, with the balance change coming in the new patch, Hiroki-san in the Dragon Ball Fighter show said that there will be a number of adjustments coming to characters and Z assists as well that are not being used that much. And of course, generally speaking in this game, the characters that aren't being used that much are the characters that aren't very good, right? Uh, certainly not any trouble to find a match against a UI Goku, for example, but maybe a little bit of trouble to find some matches against Videl's. So with changes coming to characters and Z assists, and maybe we can talk about certain Z assists that could use some love in a later video, uh, but right now let's talk about the characters. What characters can use some love in Dragon Ball Fighters? So Videl, while there's a bunch of issues to talk about, uh, you know, some jankness in the move set with some of the moves, uh, but the big thing here is she doesn't get to play the same game everyone does, and not in a good way because she doesn't have the core defensive reflect mechanic everyone else in the game does, and her spot dodge, while really cool for games like King of Fighters and all that, doesn't really work the same way in Dragon Ball Fighters. And since she can't defend herself in the same way everyone can, with a much worse mechanic, Videl has always been considered a bad character for it. For Jiren, it's mostly a case of he's just a weird design. I think in their minds when he was originally developed, he was meant to be like a meta breaker character. Here's a weird defensive wall character like akin to an E Honda in Street Fighter, right? Uh, to slow down the big pace of this game and we didn't get that. What we got instead was this weird shield charge move which doesn't work the way it's intended because while it can defeat the projectiles, it'll never beat them at a range you want to use it from. We got his uh, grab, which we all know and uh, pity, sadly, as it's among the slowest grabs in the game. And it's very easy to get around. It also replaces his standard heavy button, so he does not get a standing heavy button like every other character in the game does. So he loses out on normals due to this. And just a lot of weird other little ticks. So Jiren, uh, he was kind of built odd from the start. And while it's not a bad thing, we basically got to double down now on the things that make him unique. So grab's got to be better, uh, charge definitely has to be a lot better than it currently is, and just a lot of little other issues. Once again, link the videos at the end of this video before we talk about some of the other characters that don't get mentioned as much. Android 16 used to be a god in this game, and he was a benevolent god, one who loved all of his children. However, he was still feared, and for that he had to be punished. And he got put down even further into the ground than uh, me metaphorically putting GT Goku into the ground right now. They completely cut the legs out from under him. He does way less damage now than he used to. He has less options to work with. Uh, heck, he barely gains meter on uh, his dunks mid combo now and proper combos. Like, there's just so much taken away from this guy. Uh, for him to be buffed would just be simply roll back some of the nerfs, right? Don't gotta roll them all back, right? Maybe uh, Light Dunk doesn't need to be a true hard knockdown, sure. Uh, but he definitely got done dirty. And it's really as simple as rolling back the clock on a couple of the things that got taken away from him. And Zamasu, well, whatever. This says it all before going into anything else, right? So, yeah, so these are four characters we've talked about a bunch that definitely could use some buffs, but there are other people that aren't getting as much talk and not getting as much love that can, well, use the love. So when I mean other characters that can use some love that don't get talked about as much as, you know, some of the more easy examples like your Jiren's and Videl's of the world, I'm talking about this guy right here talking about Goku Black. So when Hiroki-san specifically said, you know, buffs and, you know, adjustments for characters that are not being used that much, honestly, Goku Black's the first guy that came to mind. Uh, now, I don't know if you were around for the launch of Dragon Ball Fighters, but the launch for Dragon Ball Fighters for the first couple months, Goku Black was easily the most popular character in the game, right? And everyone thought he was busted because we didn't know the game that well at the time, right? A uh, little did we know later on, you know, Gods of Season 1, like 16, and Kid Buu would, you know, arise. But back in the beginning of the day, we all thought Goku Black, uh, you know, Beam and Down H, that was all we needed. Best character in the game, right? And obviously, kind of stocks 
have fallen on Goku Black over the years, to say the least, to the point where people forget he's in the game sometimes. Um, I would say he's as worthy as discussion as someone like a 16 or a Zamasu when it comes to buffs, and yet, hey, doesn't really get brought up all that much. So one of the things that's always dogged Goku Black is a lot of his stuff on paper is fine, right? Maybe not as directly good as some of the other Gokus, but it's not bad on paper. Like, he's got the big normals. Uh, the key blast changes he got with the slow and fast ones are pretty interesting. Uh, he's got good aerial mobility with slicer and dive kicks, like that kind of stuff, right? So on paper, nothing is bad, bad but a lot of it just lacks some oomph. So what can be done? You know, one of the big uh, issues levied at Goku Black is he has trouble opening people up sometimes outside just universal stuff like Dragon Rush, right? And there are other characters you could apply that to, like say a Cooler, but Cooler has a lot of strengths in a lot of other categories, right? Cooler, you could argue, makes up for that. Goku Black, I don't know if you can argue that. Uh, He's a pretty one note, and when you have stuff that's supposed to open people up like this, that's even slower than Jiren's command grab we were talking about earlier, right? So uh, that's maybe not the best way. All the teleport stuff can be gimmicky sometimes. So he would definitely be the uh, candidate, if there was a character for candidate, for giving him that low hitting 2L, which he doesn't have. The problem is it's very difficult to reconcile this move here, which is his current low hitting 2L, to be a low, because it doesn't look like a low at all, right? So, I don't know, that's above my pay grade, but he'd be a character that I actually would consider for that. Maybe the answer comes in just the teleports themselves, right? So, he does have the option for a cross-up teleport, which is good, but the problem is it's always a cross-up. So, if you see that flash, even in the corner, right, he will always take the corner. Now, there are a couple gimmicks where you can, like, do this, cross over, and hit on the other side, sure. But his teleport game is not amazing. Like, as it stands, one of the best uses for teleport is simply just to get a little bit more damage off a down heavy than you normally would homing dashing on your way up, right? And uh, considering what it could be, I think that's not the best use of it. So maybe just by amping up the teleports, you can make them better as uh, terms of a mix-up character. And then all of a sudden, if his mix-up's better, that opens up a lot more aspects of his game plan, and you can go from there. Another candidate for buffs is Hit. Now, Hit, the biggest buff you could give him is actually a revert. Just like we talked about in a previous video with Super Saiyan Goku, there was a change that basically nobody asked for and nobody's happy with. So if you go into Light Stance and Medium Attack, this now, as of Season 3, causes a Sliding Knockdown, which is cool in a way. Uh, sliding Knockdowns were a bit on the rarer side for Hit. But here's the thing, it ends the combo once you do it. So no matter whatever big combo you do, it's always going to end the combo at that point, right? And that wasn't the case before. You could keep the combo going with a judicious use of light stance into medium punch, right? And yeah, so it basically hurt his combo potential. And it's definitely not like Hit needed a nerf or nothing, right? So they definitely saw this as a beneficial change. However, at least to me, the majority of Hit mains do not like this change at all. So a buff for Hit is once again just simply rolling back the clock on a change. Another people I see speak up quite a bit for is Gogeta. And the one complaint I see a lot levied at Gogeta's way is simply the frame data. So yeah, Gogeta has a big old toolbox. He's got one of the bigger toolboxes in the game. He's got a lot going for him in a lot of different ways, but maybe the numbers aren't the best on these things. If we want to take, uh, say, just his basic numbers here on his basic attacks, so Stand Light is negative 5, and Light Light, like the auto combo, is negative 10. Compared to, say, a Broly, uh, Stand Light is negative 2, and Light Light is also negative 2. And Broly also gets to threaten you with grabs every point of the way on strings, right? Uh, there's no combination of buttons he can hit that he can't threaten into a tick grab, basically, making him all the more terrifying yet, and Gogeta... Maybe not so much with the stagger pressure and the threat from the stagger pressure because the numbers, they just don't work out. Like, uh, stand medium by itself straight up punch ball and block. Down medium even more so. He can cancel into the Rekka series to make it things safe. So negative five is safe, but uh, you don't really get too much off of that. Uh, but basically, in that regard specifically, hey, Gogeta, 
Once again, the numbers just aren't amazing. So his stagger pressure isn't amazing. And considering uh, he does also have a little bit of difficulty in opening people up sometimes. Yes, he does have a true hitting uh, low down light. But since his is a slide, it comes in 11 frames, where most people are like 7 frames or something. Not the end of the world, but he's definitely not as well served as some other people. And if you're going to be fishing for a range, like his down medium is a lot better at it anyways. Because uh, it's basically cannon drill from Canyon Street Fighter. So that works out pretty good. He can dish out an overhead during a record string if you EX the last hit. That is a true overhead, this one here. But the thing is, if you're already committed to the string, well then... You're not really too much a threat of getting a low in there, right? So there's very little incentive to block a high until, you know, the third hit's coming. Now, I could argue, yeah, he gets a little bit of a left-right uh, mix from uh, Tiger Knee fake Kamehameha's. Because you get the air control, because uh, you got your super jump install property. But that needs an assist. And then you could argue, hey, anyone with an assist will get some kind of mix, right? Uh, so... That I don't think is as applicable. So for Gogeta, just a lot of what he needs in the end is just tweaking the numbers. Like once again, I think his base toolbox is pretty good. It's just, you know, like everything's punishable. Everything's a little slow. Uh, like you could quote unquote nerf his down light by making it not go as far, but maybe give it some faster startup. That'd be a little bit of a nerf, but it'd also be a buff, right? I think most people would actually be happier if it didn't go quite as far, especially because he already got the cannon drill that goes super far anyways, right? So it doesn't go as far, make it a bit of a uh, faster startup. Thing is an eminently fair trade. I don't know. So once again, Gogeta, just the numbers need to be better. And if the numbers need to be better, that's honestly a pretty easy fix. You don't gotta really go too hard on tweaking stuff. To me, these are definitely characters that need buffs. You know, the people that you've been kind of talking about a lot, and honestly, if they don't get at least part of the, what they need, like, you know, like a Jiren or Videl, by come this patch, there's going to be a lot of complaining. And some of the lesser talked about people like Goku Black. And on top of those people, yes, there's even more people that could use buffs. Uh, we're talking people like Android 17. We're talking people like Blue Vegeta. We're talking people like Beerus. Uh, there's definitely people that don't need buffs, right? That maybe still get them. Who knows? Because there's always... People that don't need buffs at all to get them, like Season 3 we had uh, base Vegeta get buffs when he's arguably one of the best characters in the game to begin with. But yeah, so it's a very exciting time now with the patch coming forward. And we have a very good established, you know, top character brand, right? There's a lot of characters in this game are very strong. I don't think a lot of people want to see too much happen to them. Maybe some small tweaks. But the main goal now is we figured out what makes a good character in this game. So for the most part, leave the good characters the good characters. Maybe very light touches, that's it. But let's bring up the lesser used, the not as good characters to somewhere around that level. Maybe not make them S tier or whatever, but get them out of the doldrums they're currently in. And that is my sincerest hope. So with all that said, now, obviously, you at home watching this video right now got your own ideas for balance changes, things you would like to see for buffs for certain characters. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. And otherwise, my friends, hey, that's the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.